Ah, welcome to Irotono. Is that what it's called, really? Irotonro. <laughs> There's a teleporter. That's upstairs. I built an upstairs so I could build the downstairs. Is there anything in the refiner? Welcome. Oh, 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 hello. This is how you make gold, pugnium, and copyright. <laughs> Welcome to 38 minutes of permadeath. Uh, what did I say we were going to do? I said we were going to make some copper. Uh, chromatic metal. Uh, copper. Here we go. All right. Let's look at the farm. Uh, first of all, uh, yeah, we have some stuff. We need some stuff. <laughs> this is the little farmer's, uh, what the farmer wanted me to do. It's a couple of extra selenians. Cactus flesh, star ball. Uh, huh. That's weird. Ever put frostboard in here? Okay. Guess I didn't need to. <coughs> This is the frost fort that I grow for making glass with. Although honestly, <clears throat> we live at a minor settlement, so I buy a couple of pieces of glass uh, just about every time I come in. You need uh, lots of glass to make living glass. Out here, out the back is the deck. There's our first batch of copper done. Here's our ATM machine. Although it isn't necessary because we live in a minor settlement, we still have this one. So, some stuff in there. Here's the uh, exograph guy. He's outside. He stinks. <laughs> Alright. Here's the armor. We hate him, so we never talk to him. Let's see if he was going to give us nanites today. Woohoo! He's given me uh, a little over 3,000 nanites so far. I don't have any pictures to share with him. Uh, let's go upstairs. So I got railings in and a couple of pieces of glass. All the walls will be glass when I'm done. Because it's cold here. Here's some selenium. Some selenium. <laughs> There's too many S's. The great thing about building at a minor settlement is it comes with a landing pad. And if you teleport home, your ship is never on it. So there's always uh, somebody coming around to buy stuff from or sell stuff to. You can uh, sell stuff to NPC ships without crashing your economy. So, uh, you know, for whatever time it, it is, I think it's like... 24 hours or whatever. So if you sell, you know, 50 circuit boards to the terminal inside the building, the next time you come in to sell circuit boards, oh, we need more selenium. Uh, you won't uh, get a very good price. In fact, you'll get the worst price ever. Let's go over here to the star bulb. I put lights right here. See, there's lights right there, <laughs> so I don't get lost. <laughs> Doesn't help. <laughs> I still get lost. Star bulb. Just keep moving along here. Haven't got it all done. So most of the domes are not planted yet. But we get a few circuit ports out of it. And obviously I have some uh, heat capacitors and polyfiber saved up. Yep, we need two more there. This one would be empty then, completely, I hope. I didn't just forget. <laughs> hey! Doorway! There you go. <laughs> Alright. Then we go down here. I have an extra dome right here for frost crystal. Uh. <laughs> We're full. <laughs> we don't have any more room. I 
high capacity. It it doesn't work quite as well as the other as the normal uh, mode farm does because uh, I can't park underneath the uh, dome. <laughs> it doesn't reach. <laughs> Most of this is like hanging out over the edge of the valley here. Okay, it's our extra frost crystal. So we've got three domes here. I don't have all those built yet. Okay, and three domes over there. So I need, what do I need? Two more, I think. <laughs> yeah, two more. So after, uh, after I get everything planted, then I will be able to um, <clears throat> enclose all that in glass. So here's the stairs down there. And I, <laughs> I put this here just to make it easier to get to those uh, top ones, you know. There's the roamer. It's way over there. <laughs> it's kicking up some dirt. It's spinning its wheels. <laughs> All right. Let's see how much. How much? Three. Why? Because it can't communicate with my exosuit. High capacity. That's why. Roamer. Buttons. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have enough star ball. Okay. That's all right. We have a few circuit boards. I think I left something on the freighter. No, I got it. I don't remember when I got it. But I got it. Okay. Wow. I made a mess. <laughs> well, that's the answer. We don't have enough star ball. That's okay. Let's make some circuit boards. And I'll plant some more star ball later. I don't know what the price is here not going to be that great price that we get elsewhere. This thing uh, collects radon. I don't think I have it fueled. No. Uh, and I turn the radon into nitrogen. Let's just take a peek and see what the price is. Because we need to do a loadout for traveling. So, circuit. Negative eight seven. Okay, I know we can get a better price than that. I don't know when or where, but I know we can. <laughs> when all else fails, jump. So <laughs> when I come through my teleporter, which is over there, <laughs> it puts my ship over here. <laughs> Down the hill. Well, it's slippery. So almost almost complete a couple of extra domes here and there um, I might put in more I have plenty of room to put in more and I have this upper deck I can go up you know another level and put in more uh, if I need to and let's see what we've got in storage no reason to be way over here it reaches that far. <laughs> so, it's out of the way. Oh. Okay. Storage. So, we've got Pugnium. We have all kinds of stuff. I'm building up stuff to make. Um, oh, there's some more cactus flesh. I'm building up stuff for the purpose of making, eventually, making. Um, stasis devices so there's some grand time 
There's some nitrogen and radon, gamma weed. Um, hair is not part of that. <laughs> There's a couple of pieces of glass. Nitrogen, salt, and heronium both go into uh, stasis devices as does semiconductors and thermic condensate. And whenever you can buy this or um, receive it for doing missions, you're saving yourself so much trouble. Um, let's see, the freighter stuff, the ship has some stuff. And this is our, this is what we're concerned with right now. So, we got some gold, we got some copper. There's some copper. What do we need? We're traveling, so we don't need this. Go up there. Okay. We got, oh, here's some more selenium. It goes in the roamer. Uh, phosphorus is for the mining tool. Okay. Oxygen and dioxide and ferrite. Ferrite. And we'll, let's see. Oh, gold goes on the freighter. Pugnium. Chromatic metal. And copper. And phosphorus. Usually I put the phosphorus with the ferrite. We don't have very many <laughs> slots here, so. Sodium. More importantly, sodium nitrate. And one last place. Oh, here's phosphorus. Oh. Cobalt. All right. So, what does that leave with us here? This with the starships out of range. Uh, we probably don't have. Oh, we do. Cleans that up. save point first because you draw your save point more often if you want it to go back to where you got it from put it in the first position storage 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 sales that's pass nav data <coughs> greater there we go we're all cleaned up and ready to go we need uh, we need ferrite we have oxygen, chromatic metals in the refiner. We need condensed carbon. Oh boy. Here's some more of that. Right straight into high capacity. Now, let's see if we have any carbon anywhere. There's condensed carbon right there. And do we have any extra oxygen? Yeah, a little bit. 94, not much. Okay. Condensed carbon. Oxygen. Alright. Uh, yeah, if you don't bring condensed carbon with you, you can't make warp fuel. never know when you need a nanotube we'll bring a little extra carbon with us and you don't know when you're going to need a dihydrogen jelly they usually go with nanotubes now we'll bring all three that's okay i'm not a, a big fan of making a roamer everywhere i go so i don't carry paraffinium we have a little bit of mortite for talking to the Viking with. We can make some more. Okay. 
<laughs> Condensed carbon. Storage. Storage. Copyright. I wonder if you can double that up with oxygen. I don't even know. Nope. It just makes more copper. <laughs> Which is good to know, because the more copper you have, the more mordite you can make. <laughs> This is going on the ship. <coughs> the hyperdrive is mostly full. Oh, here's the condensed carbon. Silly. Silly. The ship's too far away, silly. That can go to the freighter. Okay, we're not going to build this up anymore because I don't want to waste the nanites. longer. I want to go. <laughs> Put lights inside because it gets dark here at night. And it brightens up the room. When we get to uh, community events again, I'll put decorations in. I'm like halfway between remembering and forgetting what it was I meant to do today. <laughs> we need uh, cargo slots and we need jobs. And let's look at our jobs. So we'll take the star seed out. Uh, I did uh, enough of Dreams of Deep to know that the ship is terrible. <laughs> it's a small hauler. <coughs> I think it has three slots available. Everything has to be fixed. So we got photographs, predator kills, and scanning. Poor Exocraft technician dude. And uh, not as many sentinel jobs as I thought we had. That's what we need to do. All right, Mordite. In case we run into any Vikings. Here's one extra. Let's go. <laughs> it's Perma. Stop jumping. <laughs> this is a cool planet. <laughs> Oh, I don't even have to call him. He's here. He's like, where you been? I've been waiting. <laughs> Poor old dog. I found some cool planets here and there, but like... Uh, nothing that really knocks my socks off. I wandered around for a little while uh, yesterday on a new save. I found a lush planet right away. First system I warped to. And uh, I, man, I was walking around that planet, getting salvage tech, having a good old time for uh, two hours. And then I got my ship and I flew... Uh, probably 30 or 40 seconds north and uh, stopped at a, a region marker that was in uh, surrounded by caves and everything was fine and did the region marker got some stuff out and all of a sudden I get all these predator markers all over my screen <laughs> crabs there were crabs everywhere I didn't get killed, <laughs> but <laughs> that was anticlimactic, huh? 
<laughs> Hello, not the hall. <laughs> Hello, chicken. I mean, polo. <laughs> yes, yes. What do you want? What do you want me to do? Oh, we got that. <laughs> We got warp data. There you go. Okay, we're done with the starship. So, uh, when we start talking to him again, we'll ask for multi-tool technology because uh, I think there's only a couple of those blueprints left. 400 nanites. We have two modules to sell. Uh, nine circuit boards. And let's go. Let's go get some suit slots and some jobs. Meet some people. <laughs> Find out where we're at in the galaxy. We are 717,000 uh, light years from the core. There's a black hole. We're not going through that. <laughs> the next time I say, man, what's that pink line? Someone say, hey, it's, it's you know, <laughs> it's a black hole. All right. Viking, sustainable, promising, comfortable, destitute. Promising. Oh, good grief. This is the hardest part. Uh, oops, wrong button. My forms, conflict levels, economies. The problem with this one is... <laughs> Uh, it doesn't show you the color of the star, so you, you find them, and then you're like, oh, I can't go there, I don't have that drive installed. Come on. Uh, nope, emerald drive required. See, that's why I don't use that screen very often. No filters. What color is Gek? That'll help. I'd like to go to wealthy economies. Finding one isn't going to be easy, apparently. There we go. Gek. Or Sheen. Doesn't have to be Gek, but... We want to sell our circuit boards. <laughs> here. Fungal. There's a tropical planet. It's an activated tropical planet. Good lord. Spent a lot of time at that farm. Long runway. Wow. We need to find a cheap, heavy fighter, too. But probably not today. Unless someone, something comes in here. <laughs> We get a cargo slot to put our condensed carbon in. Ooh, 
condensed carbon. Alrighty. Take a peek at this. Take a peek at this. <laughs> killed so many things <laughs> with a bolt caster <laughs> and I, now I have got this together somewhat I just stuck it down there out of the way It, do it doesn't bother me at all to tear a gun apart and rebuild it from scratch. Because, you know, you don't, you don't have to use your multi-tool, you know, while you're rebuilding it. It isn't totally necessary. I want to get to do that. I don't think I have a single save where I have enough uh, prestige or whatever it's called to get that particular, um, that particular mission. Let's see. I won't buy C. I'll buy B. It's big. That's the activated one, of course. <laughs> Survival. Ugh. Stretch in the back. Probably the next couple of episodes are going to be this. Getting glyphs. Getting suit slots. Um, getting jobs. And then we'll have the mission no rama. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of missions all at once. What's that? The building? Yep, shelter. Little pond over there. Oi! <laughs> yep. Aggressive sentinels. Extreme weather and aggressive sentinels. <laughs> Double hazard. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> and a couple of predators. We need to kill predators. Where are they at? Oh, craps. Sword! There's one. Where's the other one? Can't see them for the grass. <laughs> Anybody else? No? You don't like the way your friends died? <laughs> oh, there's a... Where'd that guy go? <laughs> Look at all the buried tech. I'm surrounded by it. It's pretty cool. I think I have a plant that grows uh, gravitino balls. Sentinels don't like it when you steal their gravitino balls. <laughs> <laughs> They don't enjoy that behavior. <laughs> it's too bad we're not on the sunny side. We never are. It's always dark everywhere we go. <laughs> Have to wait for the sun to come up. Oh, just more star ball. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Gravitino thief! <laughs> I 
That's a tree. That tree took a lot out of our shields. We need to get a real ship. <laughs> a real ship with lots of slots. Good lord, that's a long counter. <laughs> Let's get out of Dodge. <laughs> Oh, we've been there before. <laughs> Let's try to avoid adding too many known systems here. Oh, I forgot to check the price on circuit boards. That's funny. Wow, so many poor systems. There's a opulent Corvax. Cool. Let's go. I stole some Gravitinos. <laughs> cool. I don't know what milestone that is. Probably warping, huh? But cool anyway. I <laughs> got six of them. <laughs> I think there were seven or eight of them in the pile. <laughs> Maybe seven of them. these. Get these out of the way. Purchase. Sell. Peek at the gun. Yep. It's a gun, alright. <laughs> it's a 32 special. <laughs> And in those predator missions. I'm starving. <laughs> After this, I'm gonna eat lunch. <sighs> the, the Gek and the Viking are far more fun at this. <laughs> I think the Corvax are just like cussing at us. <laughs> I don't know how many of you saw that screenshot I caught uh, talking to a Corvax. And he, he basically says, you know, <laughs> what can I do for you? Or what's your insignificant request or something like that. <laughs> that came out of the game. I didn't make that up. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. All right. Sell circuits. No. <laughs> I think that's the highest price we've seen. Or the, well, the lowest price. <laughs> All right, we'll grab one more for today. Tomorrow we will pick up at this point and uh, do some more traveling and uh, expand our horizons. Just moving right along here. Here we go. I didn't even see the uh, species. All I saw was opulent. <laughs> Gek. 
It's a kick system. It's a kick system with a few planets. It may be, you know, that we need to go to a poor system or a medium system to get a good price. I know on the normal mode save we have um, the price of the uh, trade station there, the trading post, we get on our uh, circuit boards is only minus 3.6, I think it is. It's the best price I've ever seen. And I wouldn't have seen it if uh, Sword had come in uh, to grab some circuit boards. Um, and uh, he just went right up to the trade post and saw the price and sold them. That's a nice gun. It's better than the one we have. I mean, the scanner isn't better. How's that better? Well, it has amplified cartridges. Yeah. Alright. It's not better. <laughs> it just costs more. And it looks pretty. <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> this guy's funny. My dream list of uh, photography missions would be everything. So everywhere you go, you just snap a picture and it's a mission complete. <laughs> circuits 9.5 all right well it's better than what we've seen but it's not good enough all right tomorrow we'll see if we can't get some trouble <laughs> attract some violence well anyway we'll take the time to look at a planet at least Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.